I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I feel a little uninvited up here with uh, being a little out of the conference, but uh, tough bracket, tough College World Series tournament, um, probably the toughest top to bottom that I've seen or been a part of in a long time. So there's no easy side. You look either way, it's no easy side. So um, we're excited to be here. Been playing some really good softball. Got a very good group that I adore and love to work with um, on a daily basis. And um, just to be part of what is now one of the most watched universal championships out there, to be a part of it is quite an honor. And uh, our goal is just to put our best softball out there and have a great time doing it. So we're, we're really honored to be here. Uh, Michael Kennedy, UConn Review. Uh, Coach Gassel, can you just talk about just the journey this year that your Sooners have made just to get back here, uh, especially being marked as the two-time defending champions? I think the key is, is not feeling like you're marked. Um, we, don't, we don't think that way. We don't play that way because there's a lot of teams out there that could say just through to tradition that they have that X on their back. But we... Um, we just try to go out and give it our best every day, and we've had some highs and lows. One of the, one of the biggest eye-openers was actually playing in Oregon and how impressed I was by their fan base, and it's a very difficult place to play, and their team was very good. And we took a journey there, and we learned a lot about what we needed to do to get better. So what we try to do, and I, I'm sure all of these coaches would say the same thing, is throughout the year um, – checking in and saying we're not as good as we think we are and we find out quickly that we're not and we learned a valuable lesson there and tried to build off of it and playing some good ball right now but um, it's a veteran team and I think it, it's made my life a little bit easy. Uh, Cliff Brent Associated Press this is for Coach Gasso. Uh, with Jocelyn um, you know there's people that hit for power, but you don't generally get them hitting over 400. Uh, how has she been able to do that, especially being a freshman, having that kind of an eye? I think she just has a real good eye. Uh, she works diligently on her craft, you know, and, and practices hard, works hard, works extra, loves to get as much live as she can. She's a learner. She absorbs. She makes adjustments. She makes changes. But she is, more than anything, just a competitor. When she puts her mind to something, you can't stop her. And I've not seen a freshman with um, such, such goal-oriented and hitting those goals uh, like they're nothing. So um, she's a special athlete. Joey Helmer, OU Insider.com. For all four of you, um, obviously you were tested in the previous rounds, but all of you were able to make it through as top eight seeds. What do you think that says about what you guys have been able to do? Patty, can we start with you, and then we'll just move down the line there? You mean in – explain it a little bit better for me. In terms of being top eight seeds, yeah. obviously the parity of sport is great, but okay. you guys were able to make it through as mm -hmm. all being favorites. Well, I think it says something to home field advantage, as I was saying about any of these programs, you go play a home field advantage, including ours. We have an advantage. The fan base now is coming out, and they're very vocal, and they get into what's going on, and it makes a big difference, especially when you're facing programs that maybe have not been in those kinds of settings. Um, but home is, is where most of us all play our best, and I think fans have a lot to do with that. Patty, what does it mean to have Paige Parker going into this World Series, especially considering that she has eight World Series victories? And then Coach Tarr and Coach White, you guys have faced her on this stage. What's that like? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's been the face of our program since she stepped on it. Uh, she kind of grabbed the torch from Kehlani and said, I'll take it from here, and she's done a great job gets better every year, which is hard to do from the pitching standpoint. She's had her ups and downs, but um, she always bounces back, and uh, she's always very good on the big stage. 
Uh, obviously, great pitching staff Oklahoma has, uh, and I think what a great opportunity that Washington has to see how good we can get through the experience that we get to have tomorrow. Um, well, obviously, as, as a as a head coach, you want consistency out of your pitching, and uh, she's consistency. She's she's a model of it. She's always wants the ball. She wants to get out there. She's a competitor, and that's what you got to be. Um, that's obviously. You know, a luxury having to play with Oklahoma behind you. You've got some great players behind you, and that certainly helps. But um, like Coach uh, Gasto said, she's she's faced right now, and she's doing a great job. She took over from Ricketts. Jacob under newsok.com. Uh, question for Patty. Uh, Leah is kind of has, – she's had a big season for you. How has she solidified everything behind the plate? I think any coach would tell you that what makes a good pitcher is a great – great catcher and they they're the assistant coaches that make the pitchers look so good just like our assistants make us look so good uh, she is a fighter she's been beat up pretty good this season catching uh, quite a bit but she's a gamer she loves the game she loves to play she's very smart in the way she goes about things but uh, the Pitchers wouldn't want to throw at anybody else, and, and I think that's probably the biggest compliment she could ever get. Um, for Coach Gasso, Coach, you, all of you coaches have talked about the importance of atmosphere and environment, and the OU fan base has had a tendency to pick up little symbols for you guys throughout the course of the season. Now that it will be under a national spotlight, what's the relevance of the rally Twizzlers for, for your team? have no idea. I don't know. What the, I, I don't know. I, I have read a little bit about it, but I don't ever see it. Um, so I think somebody was swinging a Twizzler around and we got a hit. So give me another one. And I, I think that's how it started. We're making them a lot of money, apparently. Um, but I, quite honestly, I don't even see it. It's, it's, so far away from what I'm trying to get into that I, I'm the wrong person to ask, I think. This is for Coach Casta, Sam Gannon from Fox 25. Um, I wanted to ask you about your coaching staff and obviously um, the importance of them to what you've been able to accomplish. You're obviously your son growing up within the program and then Coach Lombardi has been here now, I think this is her 21st season. Just how special is that to have those two a part of this staff? Well, Coach Lombardi's um, was a player for me. Uh, when I first came to OU, she was a junior college transfer and a skinny, scrawny, tough little catcher who demanded things from her pitchers. And I thought, this is going to be a really good coach one day. Uh, and obviously, she's one of the best pitching coaches in the country. And um, she's just stuck with me. <laughs> we were. We're um, two of a kind, yet we make each other better. On the other side, that's a whole new can of worms there with JT, <laughs> who grew up in our program. And um, I think as a parent, I always had regrets as to why am I spending more time on the field, less time with my kids, and so forth, and, and felt a lot of guilt over that. And to see my career come full circle with him in it by my side is pretty unbelievable and he's doing just a tremendous job do we get after each other 100 percent but i'm always the mom and i'm always his boss so i always win <laughs> those arguments but i listen uh he's very very smart too so it's it's been a, quite a blessing to have them both um apart we're we're just a good meshed group